All right, let me show you one of those bogus things about living in a big city. We got beautiful church. We've got big, pretty cemetery. We've got gloaming. It's not that late at night. Like, what are we, 6.30? I can't get in to go play with the dead, even though I know they want to play because the cemetery gate is closed and way too many city cemeteries close way too fucking early. What is this? I know, hoodlums. Damn. In the country, it's kind of like everything's open all the time because it is the great open yonder. But in the city, there's like a weird number of things that you would want to be open that are closed. And then there's like a lot of places, of course, that are open way later. You could just stroll in somewhere at 1 a.m. in the city. And in the country, you're like, this guy, the one person that owns this shop, decided they want to go home at five o'clock every day and not be open on the weekend because it's their weekend. So you're like, why why aren't any of the places open at a reasonable time in this little town and uh there it is i saw it just a second ago is that starlight star bright for sorry see tonight i wish i may i wish i might have the wish i wish tonight although i've been told that we're supposed to get out of our head for the next few days uh, and quit uh putting in orders that we've already put in orders on in in the universe but i just like to nod to the first star anyway and might as well make my wish which I now make, again, as I said in another video, for myself. <laughs> I'm a very generous person. I'm gonna pass it along very rapidly. <laughs> so I always know how to feel well, and it's always a great time to feel your best, but right now I'm feeling the best that I've felt in years. I can't even remember, <laughs> really, like I really have to do some math to think of the best, last time that I felt this well. And I have not adjusted my sleep schedule appropriately. I haven't stopped working insanely hard. I said, you know, I'm busy 30 hours out of the day and loving every second of it. I don't think that you should shy away from taking advice from someone who is not already, you know, in their uh, Olympian Adonis form. We might know everything that there is to know and still not be in the best shape. And, um, but I do want to give you some of the tips that have got me to where I'm at right now, where I always should have been, especially because I've known this stuff, again, just for ages. Um, hanging out with the wrong people, or not so much, I hate saying like the wrong people or mistakes or stuff like that, but it's like, if someone's in your life that is just tanking your health, like you've got to get away from them. And sometimes your health can be that thing where you're like, thank you, thank you for being that line that I couldn't cross. And so I've been so happy to know like those people were making me unwell when I already don't feel the best and just get away from that. And also again, for your diet, it's like you could be eating things that everyone says is the healthiest thing to eat and just wonder like, why do I feel so weak? Why am I crumbling? <laughs> you know, like why, why do I look like a, you know, 200 year old tombstone in an unkempt graveyard over here? Like what is going on? There is no question about it. Look at, again, those Chinese medicine principles. I mentioned this in another video that I'm editing right now. Right? Like I just have to do all these projects at the same time and then my Aries moon telling me to start something and not finish it <laughs> and just move right along. And so um, like I, said, I try to give you all the practical applications of astrology, especially the ones that I'm most familiar with with myself. But um, so for health stuff, I have, again, just known forever what I've needed to do and I, I do bits and pieces. I live by anyone else's standard an incredibly healthy life. I've been told different ways by different people. My junk food is other people's like healthiest food that they would eat that, you know, that decade. I, I have such a healthy routine for things. I, again, I don't allow uh, toxic people, you know, and I don't allow, um, uh, but I, I just, I don't, I watch my words. I understand, you know, spells and stuff, uh, especially I find in writing, I'm far more uncomfortable writing something that I don't want to be a thing or whatever uh, for work or whatever it is and stuff. Like I make sure that I uh, watch a little bit more what I'm writing because I think it kind of solidifies things in us a lot more and uh, all that good spell work stuff. So I'm doing everything that I can um, on a regular basis to be well. I do my spells, I do my manifestations, I watch the cycles, I watch the astrology, I, you know, listen to my energetic weatherman, I, um, you know, I, I pursue the things that I want in my life with a great deal of balance because I understand that if I go too heavy in one direction, then, you know, everything will stagnate, all of those fantastic principles, but again, 
for me, I'm just like, I would like to continue having that frozen organic fruit smoothie, even though I know it's dampening and cooling and what I need as far as Chinese you know, uh, medicine will talk about the different energetic properties. I need drying and I need heating because I'm always freezing to death, <laughs> just everything like that. And so, um, like, so I'll do silly things like that. And I just want to encourage you, if you've been in any kind of rut for way too long, do what I just did, just being like, why were you doing that to us? You knew this. <laughs> and so anyway, um, I've been in chiropractic care very regularly. I love seeing my practitioners. They become my best friends because I end up seeing them two, three times a week for a very long period of time. Um, they become like my new guy friends because it's very rarely a woman that I'm working with. It tends to be that a lot more of that that body work and stuff it just there's just more men in the field and that is really fun for me because I don't have guy friends at my age it has gone very poorly for me to have men around that I'm trying to just put in a friend category uh, but there's this cool thing about my practitioner and I where like there's a line that's not going to get crossed there so we can be really playful with each other and there's just like this inbuilt structure of like this is all this relationship ever is going to be and so like I've had like an acupuncturist where he'll tell me about like, you know, his like greatest like dream and passions and stuff like that. And we'll both be like massive horror buffs and I'll be so excited to be around a Taurus. Like I'm never around a person who's a Taurus like long enough to know that that's what they are. And so like I had this practitioner where like he would tell me like, I've always just wanted to do acupuncture outdoors, like in the woods or, you know, like that kind of thing. And I'm like, man, I'm like, it's so nice out in this weather. Like we should be doing that. I'm like, do like we'll you know like go out there and uh, you know advertise for the clinic by doing acupuncture on the street corner right here in the little field next to the building. Been seeing him for months and like I said like we just knew each other pretty freaking well at a certain point and um, I had you know like this person that I'm seeing now and stuff where like I get to ask him like everything about the city that I'm in, everything that he thinks is really cool. There's just a, this pure admiration where they're like, hey, you know your shit. And I'm like, I love fucking going through your brain. I love digging through all of your files because that is the most fascinating stuff to me. My practitioners, again, like they just become my best friends. I don't have other friends. And what they're doing is so incredible for my body and they're so mentally stimulating to me like we just become pals it's so awesome and so and, and like we're always playing around like they're always so good natured like they just they know how to be well after my chiropractor looked at my x-ray and came in to talk to me about it i said to him something along the lines of oh like there's just no, uh, no abnormalities i was like you don't even know why i'm in here right when you look at my skeleton and he's like yeah, uh, not quite. <laughs> and, like, uh, and so it gave me this whole beautiful pamphlet of all these different exercises. So I get to do all of my physical therapy. It really is a matter of minutes a day to improve your entire life. Do your physical therapy. <laughs> and if you don't, they, they won't throw you out and say like, oh, you clearly don't want to be well. Like just, you know, fuck you and <laughs> go, go, go rot. Uh, they'll still take care of you, but do be honest with them about it. And do your physical therapy. Um, and so this is my neck wedge. This is part of what I'm doing for my physical therapy on my own time too. Anybody can get something like this. It's, I mean, like 20 bucks or something like that. You just drop your head back over the edge of it and continue to restore that curve, get all that proper nerve function there. And um, yeah, just the, the regular adjustments that I'm getting, plus this, plus the physical therapy, I'm feeling just tremendous in that category. I'm finally applying what I should have been always for Chinese medicine. I have no negative influences in my life. I have really healthy influences and I just wanted to kind of show you this stuff and like, <laughs> this like full ramble and rant. I basically, I just ran out to go do some stuff, but it's like everything that I wanted to do, cemeteries where, you know, they were all closed in the area and I just had been wanting to explore and see like who was open a little bit later in the evening and stuff. So. Now I know, <laughs> so not really, uh, it's a bigger city, so it's not, not really a lot of that. But um, anyway, I just wanted to tell you to do your stuff, feel amazing, and um, don't, don't kick your own ass, at least until you're well enough to withstand it. <laughs> so love you, I hope, I hope you have a great one, and that you're feeling absolutely wonderful. I fucking feel 20 years younger right now. <laughs> Okay, really fast. You're like, oh, I can't, I can't afford that stuff. Gotcha. Okay, learn Qigong. It's on your 
uh, internet. <laughs> you can learn it, move your body the right way, do your yoga, do your stretches. We all know how to do this stuff. There are certain things, like especially for me, my jaw, where I'm like, sometimes that is just so off that I am concerned to even do it myself. Like if you've noticed me lisping in different things or like when my tongue just like <laughs> falls out of my mouth and just like, I'm like Molina over here uh, from Mortal Kombat. Um, I can get that completely manually adjusted, but it's like the muscles have to be addressed. And so like I'll have people, you know, doing this full facial squishing and I'm getting it back on track again now. I did have it pretty good at one point. And um, so yeah, I just need to fix that. But, but again, it's kind of, it makes me nervous to do physical therapy sometimes when that thing is just so far out. And I totally get it if that's where you're at. Um, do what you can do around those things and do get adjustments when you can find like if you can get on some kind of state benefits plan like they won't cover acupuncture <sighs> too busy covering pharmaceuticals that are poisoning people to cover acupuncture that would just zen people out and make them feel so unblocked and, and uh, just attuned with themselves. I mean, you could do acupuncture or even acupressure points, which is what I was gonna get to in a moment or whatever, but like you can do acupuncture to heal heartache, to get over grief. Like it truly does just bring you to this place of calm that so many people who've done it will tell you, including myself, it's a calm you don't know on your own time. You just don't, it just feels so great. It feels so right. I, I like to do my little mental uh, exercises when I'm doing acupuncture too, where like I'll just think um, there's a healing white light and I'll just imagine breathing in like a ball of white light and letting it spread throughout my body and that kind of thing. But uh, what you can do at home, if you can't afford acupuncture, obviously it's not provided for, uh, you can do your different spots. You can imagine a needle going into the spots that you see online. You can just imagine um, what it would feel like to have, if you've ever had acupuncture, you imagine that feeling in your body. I was uh, listening to a Chinese medicine practitioner and having like an online chat with her that was really fantastic the other day. And she was just giving all these great pointers like that, that I, again, know, but I'd forgotten too, because it's like, I, I, I'm such an encyclopedic wealth of so much health information that I'll, I'll forget about, or, you know, like we're always like relearning things that we already know in certain categories. And, uh, this, this is why, you know, even, uh, very high level, uh, practitioners in all different fields have to recertify and things like that. It's like, they know this stuff. Like it's, it's just ingrained. They've got the muscle memory for it, but sometimes, especially like there are those little things that make all the difference that you just need to check back in with. And so I, I'm going to start doing that a lot more because I'm not doing acupuncture right now. Um, I already do some of, you know, again, my stimulating <laughs> spots on me. Um, especially I've had acupuncture enough times that like I'll remember like where that needle was and I'll just put my finger there and stuff, knowing that it's going to stimulate my gallbladder or <laughs> like my intestines or whatever it is. And um, so definitely imagine, and I apologize for all the you knows and stuff like that. I'm probably not gonna edit this very much. And also that that is a straight lampshade, I think. <laughs> not the rest of this video uh, but anyway um you can do these mental exercises and it's far more like say do you find meditation to be quite boring do you find that you like you really want an active meditative state this is the way to do it truly like just imagine when you look online and see what those acupressure points are imagine a needle going in there if you've had tattoos you know what it um, you know, uh, you, you can even imagine that, right? Like if you get your proper tattoo addiction, just lay there and think about getting fucking tattooed, you know, just stop, stop inking yourself up total parenthesis within a parenthesis. <laughs> um, just fucking, uh, I just, all of the tattoos that people are getting these days. I love seeing them. I love the artwork. I totally get it. I'm right there with you. I've got some really big pieces. I've got a thing or two that could probably be touched up, um, a thing or two that like, Ugh, I may or may not get removed one day. I only kind of halfway consider it here and there and stuff, but um, it just, again, like I kind of playfully will talk with uh, my practitioners about body modification and stuff, and I'll be like, oh, like if I'd known about acupuncture before I was getting piercings, I would have gotten my needle fix over here, <laughs> you know, or like um, we won't like poke fun, pun intended, at like, you know, people with tattoos. Again, I've got plenty. Uh, but we will say like it's ridiculous that it is not on 
like tattoo parlor walls just saying like, hey, by the way, your organs are always going to process this. Your skin is a living, breathing thing. It's the considered the largest organ in your body. This is not paper. It's not canvas. It is your skin. Be good to it. Those heavy handed artists leaving the scarring on you, the, um, you know, tattooing over tattoos, the really bad lasering. Like I've known somebody before who had like a ton of tattoos and they were like, getting really scarred up from their laser removal and I kept telling them that's not right you shouldn't be doing that you shouldn't have these big like blisters turning into scars and they literally said to me oh it doesn't matter because I'm just gonna tattoo over the scar and I'm like don't <laughs> like no you don't get a tattoo scar over that then get another tattoo there it is your flesh that is aging you to do that that is attacking your body to do that anyway do your meditations of cool needle stuff. Go get cool needle stuff. Get your body twisted around. I like find a practitioner who's going to listen to you. I, I did see, um, I, I was in somebody's live stream the other day where someone was talking about how they had a really unpleasant experience with chiropractic care. And of course, you know, I do not like leaving a footprint on the internet. I'm trying to get better about that. I'm like, <laughs> I'll like leave a comment somewhere and then be like, Oh, they saw it and they enjoyed it. Now I'm deleting it. I just don't want to leave a footprint over there, but I'm trying to be less like finicky about stuff like that. And so I just went ahead and threw my two cents in and was like, you know what? There's horror stories for every kind of practitioner. Know what you're looking for. Know what makes a good practitioner. If they're not going to listen to you, if they're not going to adjust their technique for what works best for you, if they're not going to show you, if they're not going to demonstrate a, a capability in different fields, like not just whipping your spine around, they should know about how to do that muscle work and they should have, I think, some knowledge of um, what Chinese medicine can do. Uh, like I was talking to this uh, Chinese medicine practitioner again, like online the other night and stuff. She was just like, everyone should just have the basics of the Tao Te Ching, like just, just basics, like we need to know this stuff. And um, anyway, so that's, that's your freebie way to do stuff is uh, meditate on um, picturing getting those things again you can press on those points yourself you can adjust your diet like the internet is a beautiful thing like all of the information is out there you can be very well be preventative about things treat things when they come up absolutely check out uh, yeah just <laughs> check out all the great resources and stuff and like I said I, I'm gonna put up a lot more stuff you know I'll, sh I'll show you some stuff about what I do for spells around my place and I'll show you some more health stuff but this was just a fun rant for me to just tell you that I've been working really hard on my health and I'm so fucking excited for spring at this point because I'm like, dude, like I'm going to be able to go do these big hikes. I'm going to be able to go do the gondola rides nearby. I'm going to be able to like, you know, like just, oh gosh, I'm so, so excited. And again, like I've been able to do some of that stuff. Like I have been improving my well-being a lot, like especially after getting away from um, the people that were harming me all the time like that again bless my heart <laughs> i was really letting them kill me and so um i, I now just I, i'm the, i'm the queen of my own domain and i am taking really great care of my temple and my high priestess for myself and all that great stuff so i hope you're being a good witch a good energy manipulator good everything everything i just wish you so much health it's so much more attainable than anybody makes it look it's so much more attainable than i make it look how to put this <laughs> it's like i guess i'm always doing my clay mask and yes i'm always you know doing my various therapies and, and just all of the natural stuff i'm always researching it's so fun to me I, it's such a blast whether it's a near-death experience that uh kind of thing that i'm researching or something really, um, you know, like learning about the different dimensions or again, learning about like how the 5D manipulates the 3D. Special thanks to the assholes who keep showing up in my dreams. Just, just call me, just don't, you're being weird, stop. Anyway, um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We, we can play up there as much as you want to, whatever. But um, anyway, my, my real point here is that um, I could always be more of a beacon of health than I have been. I just, again, I'm very uh, light and dark and I, I, I bring hell to myself for sure and I've allowed, again, people in the past to do that to me. So I want you to feel fucking amazing and um, if you've been rolling around in the gutter too long, girl, guy, 
I was right there with you. Like this splish splash in the gutters, are, it's just so fun. They're just hanging out with the rats, you know? I mean, they'll accept you. They'll fucking eat trash. Why wouldn't they accept you? <laughs> so excited, I'm so excited. I'm just like, I'm just like hugging myself more and more, like wanting to give you a big go get better hug. I, I hope you feel fucking incredible. You are a being of energy. As I always hear Dr. Bergman saying, like you, you're, you're everything, so. Good luck because I'm so excited to be well now. So <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>